South Seven Science, how do we hybrid learn? So it's been a little boring for the last two months, teaching to an empty classroom, but we're so happy that you're coming back. And even if you're staying remote for now, we can't wait for you to come back later. If you're coming back on Tuesday, here's what our classrooms look like. You can see that we have seating charts right outside the door to help you find where to sit right away. So whether you are a tater tot or a waffle fry, when you arrive on your day, check outside and try and find where you sit based on the seating chart so you know where to go right when you enter the room. Before you come in our room, there are a few things that we need you to do. We have a sign explaining these things right outside our doors. The first thing that you're going to need to do is grab a paper towel when you come in and head over to your seat. We already sprayed it during the passing period, so make sure you wipe down your table and your chair. Then everything will be nice and clean for you. Be sure to throw out your trash, because littering is not the cardinal way. Next, head over to a sink to wash your hands. You are lucky that you have sinks available for you to wash your hands because hand washing is often more effective at protecting yourself from germs. Because, for example, the COVID virus is surrounded by an envelope and the soap breaks down the envelope and then the DNA falls out, so it renders COVID ineffective. That's why you need to make sure you wash your hands. Keep in mind that once your hands are clean, you really need to try not to touch your nose or your mouth because that's how you bring germs to yourself or you take your germs and put them elsewhere. Lastly, to keep the faucet clean, make sure you turn it off while holding a paper towel. You would also notice that paper towels belong in the trash, not on the counters or on the sinks. Please make sure you put your paper towel in the trash. Last thing to do to be ready for class is open up your Chromebook and get ready to learn. Hey, you're ready to learn now. Interestingly, learning in hybrid mode whether you are in person or at home or full remote is going to be about the same. We are still going to work with a fire list so you can self-pace your lessons. The only difference would be when it comes to some labs. This is this week's fire list. Notice that there are three options for labs. There's option one, how to use coins to show force pairs. Option two, how do objects affect each other in collisions. Option three, how do force pairs affect different masses and it says over here you need to select two of the three lab activities. We'd like to give you some options because it depends if you are able to get the lab supplies. So for instance for options one and two they are labeled at home or at south. This means that you could do them in either location because it has materials that are really easy to find around your home or at school. Option three is labeled at school because it does require some specialized equipment that might be harder to find. However, if you are really set on doing option three, we are totally okay with that. For instance, you can pull off option three if you had something like Hot Wheels cars, coins or washers, or you can do Lego cars instead. So if you're a tater tot or a waffle fry, we can't wait to have you back in the building so we can teach you. If you are a home fry, we still look forward to one day when you come back to join us for science. Either way, we're going to do a lot of good learning with our physics unit from the end of the quarter and when we start the next part of our physics unit next quarter. <laughs>